first of all, to introduce uh, Andela. Uh, we develop software developers uh, and uh, help engineering com companies uh, across the globe uh, have um, better uh, engineering teams. So we do that in Africa. We have been uh, we have developed so far 800 uh, engineers uh, uh, in uh, Lagos, Nairobi, Kampala, who are uh, full-time Andela employees that uh, providing services to our partners across uh, uh, the globe uh, who are global tech leaders. Uh, in Rwanda, we are going to continue growing uh, Andela and pursuing Andela mission in Rwanda. Our ambition is to uh, hire and develop uh, 500 uh, software engineers over the next five years. Uh, and um, of course, um, employ them, uh, get them to write code for uh, global leading technology companies. Clement, when you say you're looking at 500 uh, developers in the market, that's rather very interesting. But tell me, how vast are you in uh, you know, mentoring or even bringing up to speed mm -hmm. developers? Have you worked with such a platform before, given the fact that we're just seeing Andela coming into Rwanda? So uh, at Andela, we have uh, uh, figured out a great way to take uh, uh, people or young men, women who have some knowledge or not that much knowledge about software development, uh, get them through a learning process of uh, six to eight months. Uh, and out, uh, after this learning process, they are already ready to be employed as entry level software developers. But then we have uh, a continuous learning method that get them to constantly become even better and better, but uh, at the same time learning uh, on the job. So uh, this, uh, this method that we have now been able to uh, implement at scale, uh, mm -hmm. doing it for 800 developers uh, in other capital is, is also uh, feasible in Rwanda. So, we believe in Rwanda we are going to be able to do that. Uh, but furthermore, Andela Rwanda is uh, the first Andela Pan-African hub. Mm -hmm. Government of Rwanda is uh, really open to uh, attracting brilliant uh, Africans to come uh, work from Rwanda. And uh, with the partnership we have with the government, we want to make this really a Pan-African hub mm -hmm. where not only we employ, we bring on board uh, Rwandans as uh, software developers, but also other people from other countries. Yeah. Clement, we understand that, of course, a software developers or software engineers are one of uh, the highly, uh, I mean, needed uh, people on the market, but not necessarily in Rwanda currently. Uh, when you come in with Andela and you're looking at 500 or 800 mm -hmm. uh, developers across Africa, tell me, who is going to employ this? Or maybe you're particularly making this as in-house developers? So we are employing them, but uh, placing them as uh, distributed uh, engineering teams of uh, global tech leading companies. Mm. So the shortage of software engineers across the, the world in uh, US, Europe, other development market is uh, more than 1.5 million. So uh, you take that huge gap, need and you, look, you, you want to uh, respond to this need, uh, w where you have the biggest untapped talent is Africa, right? You have a big population, youthful population. Uh, so what we do is really develop these um, young people to become um, um, world-class software engineers, uh, in, uh, after which case we employ them, mm. but placing them as distributed engineering team members for these uh, high growth uh, global engineering. Uh, Clement, tell me, companies. how different is Andela from any other accelerator that we've seen, uh, like say in Homoko or any of the other accelerators that we know on the market? Um, I would say uh, one thing is first, we are, we are not working with uh, uh, organizations, companies, mm. we are working with people. Uh, we are actually building skills that are competitive across the globe. Mm. Uh, so people we work with or uh, young talents we, we develop are able to be software engineers anywhere in the world. Mm. 
uh, third. Who are you working with currently? I mean, you're mentioning some partners and uh, yeah. So namely. some example partners are high growth companies like GitHub, mm. uh, Plur uh, Plurisite, uh, Mastercard Labs. Mm. Uh, these are companies we are already working with who are employing our uh, talents. Maybe finally, before I let you go, of course, uh, with this rather very interesting point, if you are a developer right now on the market, mm -hmm. what are the few things that you would give your main focus? Or maybe for other developers that are on the market already? Um, well, if you were to join Andela as, uh, and become a world-class developer, oh. Uh, we are currently putting a focus on uh, JavaScript and Python, which are two major languages. Uh, we, uh, we develop our engineers to master and be able to deliver, and which are really needed across the globe. Uh, but uh, secondly is uh, really to develop uh, soft skills, because um, the world is becoming, and the workspace is becoming more distributed, with more and more people working from home, working from uh, remote uh, offices, uh, but collaborating using the available technologies that allow us to collaborate better. But then this uh, distributed type of work requires to have great soft skill, great communication skill, great self-management skills. So uh, really improve this type of soft skills because the world is moving towards distributed work and that's what we emphasize on that. Do you see Andela and the likes sparking a generation of techpreneurs? Absolutely. Uh, and uh, again, throughout our journey of four years mm. of learning, uh, because you join us, you go through the learning, you work with our partners, but you continue growing. Uh, you, at the end of this journey, you have acquired all the skills that are, that are needed for someone to identify a problem, be able to think of a solution, lead teams uh, towards uh, building uh, technologies that can address this problem. So uh, I, we believe uh, that this will uh, indeed spark the next generation of tech leaders across Africa and business leaders in technology across Africa.